Well, hello there everyone. You've tuned in UXW Bill, and today I'm taking you along on my first heating service call ever, <laughs> other than the ones I did in the classroom. <clears throat> now, because I really don't have much foresight and didn't think to make a video about this beforehand, I guess I'll take you through it after the fact because I believe I have fixed the problem. As I think I said, I'm out here at a fellow family member's house where they have this Ameristar by American Standard Furnace. This being a rural location, the furnace has of course been converted to run on propane fuel rather than natural gas. And the complaint lodged with this furnace was that it would randomly stop heating. Well, by the time that I got out here, it was operating and working just as it should, which kind of made me think that the control board was locking out. So one of the first things that I looked at, because in these old houses you just never know what you're going to find, I made sure that the furnace had a good ground, because a ground reference is important for these things to work properly. And then I turned my attention to the safety loop, this pressure switch, that overheat sensor right there, the rollout switch. All of those seem to be doing their thing, and when I stuck a meter across these and made a call for heat after killing power to the control so as to reset it, I discovered that this switch was indeed toggling, that the voltage across it dropped to zero as the inducer blower picked up speed. So I was pretty sure all of that was working. I also noticed that the igniter back there, which you can't hardly see, although we'll try to shed some light on it here, the igniter was glowing red and doing its thing and there would be just the trace of a flame that appeared for a moment before the control board shut off the flow of gas. And I had no reason to believe there was a gas pressure problem and even if there is I didn't bring my manometer with me to check for that. But I think I found the problem and I think I have fixed it conclusively. This little device right here is the flame sensing rod. It outputs a tiny amount of current when a flame has been sensed and that's how the control board knows that the burners have lit off and are operating correctly. I had a hunch that it was pretty dirty so I pulled it out, took a look at it and it was absolutely filthy. Just black and covered in lumpy stuff. I put it back in and we'll go ahead and we'll make a call for heat right now just as soon as I get the stand on my multimeter out again. I actually got my little jumper right here so we'll go across the W terminal for heat. I've cycled it a few times already. It's in pre-purge right now. So the uh, draft inducer is running just to clear any accumulated gases out of the burner compartment. You shouldn't stand right in front of this when it goes to light off, of course. Just in case there were to be a flame rollout or an explosion or anything. I'm not trying to tell you how to fix your equipment. If you don't know what you're doing, seriously, for your own safety and well-being, call a professional. I'm just sharing this with you after the fact, so it's probably going to be a terrible video. Here's our hot surface igniter doing its thing. That's that reddish-orange glow you see. Just watch. Now that I'm recording video, it'll make a fool of me. Here's our ignition.
safety, please do call a professional. Thank you for watching, and as always, I look forward to hearing your constructive commentary. And yes, this was like this when I got here, so we're willing to take that off because it's never a good idea.